Hey, welcome to The Woods fans, it's Melissa. After so many years of doing home improvement projects, I have come across products that I feel need to be shared. This is the top five products you didn't know you needed, or maybe you didn't even know existed. Starting with this. This is a metal stud master. The person who invented this was hoping to expedite framing. It perfectly spaces your stud 16 inches on center, so you can skip the tape measure. And it has openings for you to use your framing nailer. Um, it keeps everything totally perpendicular, like at a 90 degree angle. It's super, super nice. I'm really surprised how often I've reached for this. I got it when I was framing up a wall, but I've also used it for like, a deck joist framing. And every time I show this in a video, I get at least one comment, what is that tool, what is that? Well, it's pretty awesome. It's made entirely of steel, so it's virtually indestructible, and it's also manufactured in the USA, which I love. If you didn't know this existed, I'm gonna blow your mind. It's a laser tape measure. So it shoots a little laser, and that, whatever it hits, it measures that distance, and it's accurate to the eighth of an inch. I use this so often, I hardly ever reach for a tape measure anymore. Especially if you're someone who does a lot of solo DIY like me, this can really, really make it easier for you to work solo since you don't have somebody holding the end of your tape. It goes up to 65 feet, the one that I have. I've used it to hang the beams on the lake house living room ceiling. Um, I measured them at like 17 feet, four inches and a quarter. It was so accurate, it was so easy. I just got up on a ladder, shot my little laser, and then had my measurement. It saves your past measurement. Um, you can reset it, hold it down. It's so, so handy to have. This next product I'm gonna tell you about is super ingenious. This is the Bulldog. This is like a demonstration of it. It's this here. It attaches to your home's piping at the water shutoff valve, and it detects leaks in your home, shutting off the water if there is damage being caused. So if it detects a leak, it just is like this robotic arm that moves on its own. It's actually really easy to install just with a Phillips screwdriver and you just need a quarter turn valve. It's got a super long cord that takes you to your power source and this actually monitors through your phone so you can control the water shutoff to your house on an app on your phone, also Alexa or whatever you're using for your smart devices. Um, these little guys are what you just set around areas that are likely to leak. So for instance, I do a lot of my own plumbing, but I'm not a licensed plumber. So I put these in like any of the sinks that I've plumbed, the drains or like a kitchen faucet, and these are gonna detect a leak and make my home's water shut off to prevent further damage if I did something wrong. The makers of the Bulldog, Econet Controls, is sponsoring this video, and they have so many selling points for this product that they've invented. I feel like the coolest thing is you, there's no plumbing required. It installs over your existing plumbing to give you peace of mind with very little effort. A lot of insurance companies nowadays actually require something like this installed in your home before they will insure against water leaks and water damage. My friend actually had a leak happening behind her fridge for the inlet water. Um, to like her ice maker, and it was leaking slowly over time. It built up enough water that they realized that there was a problem when the whole ceiling of their basement caved in and their basement flooded. So if she had had one of these little leak detectors behind her fridge, none of that would have happened. To purchase the Bulldog from Equinet Controls, there's a link you can click in the description as well as a pinned comment below. Next up is a product I wish I had found years sooner. It's Bondo. If you don't know what Bondo is, it's basically the magical repair putty that you can uh, mix a two-part hardener and it will repair almost anything. You can use it on wood, like rotted wood. You can use it on metal, like cracked gutters. You can use it to repair siding, repair concrete. It is truly indestructible, indoor, outdoor. And the way it works is it dries so fast and so hard that you have to work really quickly. Like you don't usually get more than five or 10 minutes to spread it around, but you just spread it with a putty knife. Um, the downside to this is it, it's definitely cancer causing, like the fumes are terrible. So I wouldn't like sleep next to it, but I love it and I use it all the time. Before Bondo, there were way too many situations in which I was trying to use like wood feller, caulking, sealant, like all these other things that I didn't know something like this existed. <laughs> And it's, it's really applicable in so many situations. Speaking of things you didn't know existed until you Googled it, this is a moisture meter. I bought this last 
summer when I was working on the treehouse because as I built with green treated lumber, I had so many of my followers say, it takes at least a year for green treated to dry out and you can't stain that anytime soon. Well, my intent was to stain it after a few weeks of hot, dry weather and I thought it would be okay, but there are so many different opinions about green treated lumber, like how long you have to wait and they're all arbitrary. Who knows if it's a month, six months, a year, seven years, you don't know. And so this is a moisture meter. This actually reads how much moisture is in the lumber. You have to um, put the prongs as deep as you can and it reads the percentage. You want it to be less than 15% moisture before sealing the wood. Um, I, I wouldn't stain or put anything on the wood until it's less than 15% moisture content. It's also really, really helpful if you are someone who wants to stain or paint after a heavy rain and you're just not sure, like, is it dried out enough? Or if you decide to pressure wash, like a lot of people pressure wash their deck, they let it dry overnight and then they seal it the next day. Well, it's very possible that that lumber is, is full of moisture and that's not wise to seal it in. So definitely get one of these. So in the comments now, I would love for you to tell me if there's any products you've come across that have changed your home improvement lives. What have you found to be ingenious inventions, products you can't live without? I'd also love to know if there was one that I listed today you've never heard of and if you think you'll buy it. If this video was helpful for you or you saw a product that you think someone else might really like, don't forget to hit the share button and thanks so much for watching. Welcome to the woods. Bye-bye.